What's up guys? Welcome to the Amateur Prepper and today we're going to talk about the uh, GMRS 50 V2 by BTEC. Um, this is going to be just a simple unboxing and what's included. We will find more videos coming on how this radio performs and how to program as well. And then we will get some infield testing done as well. So guys, let's go ahead and open her up. So first things first, you're going to get a manual. You can also download this manual and actually keep it on your phone. So when you need a quick reference guide, you don't have to uh, uh, keep the book with you at all times. But it's really a good book. Uh, very good English. Very good descriptions. Uh, bees flying around everywhere. I, I think they like this radio. But it's a very good description on your book here. Your RJ45 adapter. So you would plug your microphone into here and have a secondary microphone here for your normal K1 products. And it would plug into here. So you almost get uh, two in one for your microphone stuff here. It's a little windy here, so I apologize if you guys hear wind. You get your microphone here, has all the numbers and the menus, channel up and downs, uh, exit, transfer BB, you can uh, push a button to do the auto scan, uh, lock it, everything like that. That's an excellent, uh, excellent mic. It's got a really good tactile uh, PTT button here. Really nice, little, little stiff at first, but I would imagine that gets uh, looser with time. On the back here, you got a good metal uh, mic holder. Here, that's pretty neat. You get your power cable here. So you would actually plug this up into your truck, one into your truck power, whether it be battery, which is suggested to go battery. This would go into your radio. You have your mounting screws. You have an extra fuse here. You have your uh, mic mount that you would put in your vehicle somewhere, right here. Next, we have the radio. Good and sturdy. Kind of heavy, actually. It's got some weight to it. It's really nice. I dislike the screen protector on here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. It wasn't on all the way, so you couldn't just leave it on. But this is the front. Again, you got two different uh, ways here. You can put the RJ45 in here and run two different mics or take the adapter out and just plug in your normal microphone. Next, you have your mounting bracket, which is in there nice and solid. Uh, I'm going to leave that in there for now. We're going to go ahead and power up this radio. I do not have an antenna, so we're just going to power it up just to make sure everything powers on and go from there. Uh, there is no electrical outlets or any other power source here, so I brought my uh, off-grid solar power generator here, uh, the box. Uh, I did purchase a separate cord. Uh, to be able to go to the Anderson power pole, which is how I power most of my devices off of the box. It is plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And we have power. Currently set on GMRS 3. Um, one of the things that I've noticed that it, this radio has, it is a quad watch meaning you can have up to four channels that you can listen to and watch, uh, only being able to talk and monitor on one, of course. Uh, you have your programming port right here. Let's get a little bit close here so you can see. Programming port right here. Your channel selector here. As you can see, it does change the channels. You have your volume and your power right here. If you hold it, it'll turn it off and it says goodbye. We're gonna hold it and bring it back again. Bring it on. 
very loud speaker into it, which is nice. You can choose whether or not uh, the speaker port's right here on the back. Again, I cannot transmit out on this because I do not have an antenna on it currently right now. We have a cooling system back here with a fan just about this area right here. We'll go into all these different buttons uh, on the testing video uh, and go into more of these specs. This is just a box, unboxing video here. Uh, this thing is extremely heavy. Uh, I would expect it to be a little bit more heavier, or sorry, a little bit more on the lighter side. Um, this is actually a really good build quality. It's all metal. Uh, really, oh, I'm not seeing any plastic on it whatsoever, actually. The knobs are really good. You can uh, easily turn them as well as uh, the channel button is more tactile you can hear you probably hear it as it turns and of course i'm going through all the noahs and the repeaters so it's actually got all the gmrs the noah stations which is the noah weather stations and the repeater uh stations are already programmed into it so that's really nice uh, it does take a certain type of programming cable which is this port right here Luckily, I already have a programming cable, but you can purchase a programming cable for this radio on BTEC's website. Uh, we'll, we'll leave a link in the description for that.